Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see you today. Today is Tuesday. Yes, a lot of news from today, and we want to discuss about. And thanks for everyone joining our live stream this morning. As usual, we will start with uh, some of the news in the crypto currency. And after that, we will discuss some further. More. If you want, if you have any questions, please let me know, or you can also join our, our live stream to discuss with me. Thanks, everyone, join our live stream today. And in order to con continue with our uh, news discussion, and let's go about this uh, discussion on the freedom, privacy, cryptocurrency with the Richard Stoneman on Coin Telegraph article. Uh, we can see Richard Stoneman is a well-known free software movement activism, and he's a uh, he's the uh, one who proposed to launch the GNU project, followed by the Free Software Foundation and releasing GNU the uh, general public license. Yes, uh, and and one more thing is uh, uh, his uh, in his uh, speak and discussion, his uh, he share information about the free software and open source. His idea of the free software is a matter of rights. Um, or wrong, interesting and interesting. Yes, uh, you as the user of a software deserve control over the software that you are using. This means that he promotes for the open source, the free software. And con con circle, there's a for essential freedom that user needs in order to have a full control of program. The first one is the freedom to run the program. The freedom, the next one is the freedom to study the program open source course and modify it as you wish. So the program, program does what you actually want. These two freedom you can apply by yourself alone. Yes, that's right. The freedom two and the freedom three with the freedom tree, you can distribute copy of your modified version. If you make any and taking advantage of freedom one and freedom two, and after that you can distribute the these two copy when you wish. If the user have all of of this essential freedom. Then the user control the program both separately and collectively. Yes, and then we discuss about the CBDC and the concept of the privacy. Of course, CBDC, there's no privacy in the CBDC. Uh, we see, we know the Chinese government aim to launching its own CBDC. It's also called the central bank digital currency as well as land bank in the Thailand and uh, many countries around the world. And what did he say in the CBDC? Digital payment system are fundamentally dangerous. If they are not engineering to ensure privacy. Yes, that's right. And that's about why I haven't used a cryptocurrency that are issued by the community. If the cryptocurrency issued by the government issues service people just the way credit card do and buy bond those and all of those systems meaning completely unacceptable. Yes, uh, thank you. Thanks everyone join our live stream today. Thanks, Mr. Duck Han DL. Thanks, Mr. Phương Hà Family Japan. Thanks, Mr. Khám Phá Giáo Pháp Như Lai. Let me continue with the privacy matter. And we we see how, however, he doesn't see any con contradict. 
contradiction is a very specific concept. What is cryptocurrency? It is the use of the particular technology method. If the government implement that method, I don't see it's a contradiction. But if the government use it as a surveillance device, I think that's a vicious. That's why, what is a privacy? Privacy means being able to say and do things without being known to some powerful entity as can use them to attack you. In general, the thing you should not go into a database, the thing you say to a few people, they shouldn't go into the database. Example, the CCTV out there, it should not be, be controlled and the data should not be leaked. That's your privacy. Uh, he also mentioned it. We need to law restricting the use of a scanner to make sure that that database that track people around the city, as they move around, it cannot be collected. Any systematic, systematic attempt to recognize people other than people subject to specific court order, perhaps a limit exception because their limits are set for society. They will not lead to generous repression. That's a process that has to replace the data protection. Yes, uh, this information, this thing share a lot of things to us about uh, freedom, privacy, and cryptocurrency. In cryptocurrency, if the, if the digital currency by the central bank, it should not be controlled the people privacy yes and we i i suggest we need to uh, read more we we need to learn more and discuss more about the privacy through this through this thing yeah it's very it's very nice information to us okay let me say thanks for everyone join our live stream today Thanks, thanks, um, một lòng một lít. Thanks, um, Mister Tài Đức Thủ. Thanks, Mít Nga Miền Tây. Thanks, everyone, joy our live stream this morning. Okay, let me continue with more article, with further article. The next article. It's about the first book on in technology with the launch of a new product roof. Hello, good morning, Mr. Khang Nguyen. And Facebook that determine not to take no for the answer when it comes to fintech. According, they try to launch a new product group to promote the payment and commercial opportunity with the Libra co-creator David Marcus in the chart of the division. And in the article share information to us, the Facebook in charge of the wallet, the wallet known as a Capitra, and the payment system will enter in the WhatsApp messenger. Yes, the, we have a lot of commerce stuff to go across the Facebook. I feel like it's the right thing to do to rationalize the strategy at the company level around all things payment. And in the Facebook, we have in the future, the, the Facebook will have more and more uh, application more and more product in the payment processing. Talking about the payment processing, just now this morning, I read the article about why Binance, why Binance new debit card failed to fulfill strategy vision. Yes, and then we will discuss how is the payment gateway, gateway work, how the traditional 
uh, payment uh, system process and how the cryptocurrency uh, payment process. Okay. Uh, last uh, recent month uh, on Afro, we see the Binance they they launch up a new payment payment system uh, with the new debit card. Okay, let's see. Let's see the art article. Uh, many payment company and a chain already claim to offer a service that enable crypto user to buy goods and service with cryptocurrency. However, that does not totally uh, process the, the crypto payment. And let's discuss, let's see how the crypto payment process work how the crypto payment process work and we will i will share to you some of the payment process in this how does bitcoin work how does bitcoin work is also similar with how does a payment process work and the sender send the coins some card to the receiver here and it's need the crypto miner as a valid that's the transaction after validate the transaction they confirm the transaction and here is similar with the bank send to a chance and some other information this is the house does bitcoin work because it needs the validate by the bitcoin miner and the receiver the bank sent to a chance or send they also need the bitcoin miner to confirm the transaction yes it's sim simple like this money transfer service also symbols like this the most imp imp important the, is so hard the payment process work is here method is involved with the fiat because they exchange they, they need to uh, convert from the coin to the fiat, vice versa. You can see here, fiat to the merchant or vice versa. The second method involves the first liquidating the crypto, the crypto user into fiat user account before it reach the intermediary. It means that uh, in the method, in the method, current method, the exchange, they will convert some of the crypto asset into the fiat as a liquidative and after that they will they will process the fiat fiat amount that's the way that is a way the traditional uh a chance and uh, and some of the fund they doing like this you can see here the offer crypto payment to consumer is the same with the paypal paypal they do like this but but the volatility of the Bitcoin, that's why, that's the reason why a lot of exchange and a, a, a lot of fund is hard for them to convert like that. If the price is stabilized, it means it's, it's very hard because the user, they want what they, the, the user want. They want the red, the price before they purchase immediately yeah what the and we can reveal some of the other payment the tra traditional payment here traditional payment here is uh the buyer they use the system the process to is to the central bank the central bank will work at the validator they will validation the transaction is different with the crypto payment like just now you have seen like just now you have seen here the miner bitcoin miner is a validator and here the central bank the central bank we, we do add the validator and all the process look like this we all can see this tra traditional one and we know this for a long time this system and how can two systems can match up together 
And, and in the article, it says that what crypto user want and what Binance card offer. The crypto user, what they want? The crypto user, they want the top of the clear security, value the secure nature of the blockchain. They want everything will be in crypto secure and they don't want to lose any crypto or money on their wallet during the transaction. Uh, there are also the personal reasons consumers choose to purchase with crypto. They want the full control of their money on the blockchain. And then element that are really missing from non-blockchain means stalling or traveling financial access where banks have control. Yes, this is the foundation and spirit of the cryptocurrency ownership for many crypto users. Some crypto payment solutions available to crypto users, however, have dismissed this foundation by the way with their execute transaction. After we execute the transaction, it's so hard to process this. To achieve the miss, to achieve the our mission making crypto more accessible accessible to the mass of them is a, a, a key component as well. Given, given the user ability to convert and spend crypto directly and have the merchant still seamlessly accept fiat, it will make the crypto experience much better for everyone. Yes, uh, we can see, we, we know that the company Binance, they promote about the crypto payment card and we hope in the future, in the near future, the crypto payment process with the fiat currency is very easy for everyone. The most crypto the most cryptocurrency user-friendly approach would involve accepting cryptocurrency and instantly locking a red that the user will see before paying. Yeah, that's very simple like this. I, I like the thing will be simple and easy for people to exchange, to share, to, to send the, the payment, the thing like in this photo. Has the Bitcoin work? People just send the asset to the receiver wallet. And also the same with the bank and the exchange. Everything is will be on, it should be confirmed on blockchain. It's not so complex like this. So complex like this. We don't want, and it's also controlled by the central bank. The central. Yes. Uh, yes. The coin have to sign. The coin have to sign because with the controlling, it can prevent the bad actor. Yes, that's why we hear a lot of information and news about the scam, about the criminal using Bitcoin and other stuff. But we hope in the future, we hope in the better future, everything will be better. Okay, next going on with the article about the web traffic on the global crypto chain is going down thirteen percent in July. A crypto an analysts startup ICO revealed the fastest growing crypto chain and defined protocol in the term of the web traffic. And let's uh, let's let's discover. Let's see how what is the more detail about this. Not everyone is a winner. Other bowler exchanges like the Bitmax, OKX saw their traffic drop in July. Why? According to the data, Bitmax traffic drop one point six percent. OKX saw six percent decline. You own, we own can see the chart here. How's the traffic drop? Yes, in this uh, in July, why the traffic drop here? Below DS, we can see the Bitum, we can see Binance, 
we can see Bitstrike, KuCoin, a lot of 20, top 20 exchange here, a bit also. Uniswap is the largest DeFi protocol by the web traffic. Yes, in August 9th, this ICO analytic provide a similar statistics regarding decentralized finance or DeFi according to the data. And we can see according this, the traffic web up 193% in July. Here we can see here. You know why? Because of the Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0. Early in July, crypto market analyst firm Mesuri said that DeFi max up only 1.5% in the entire crypto market. Yes, at the price of time, the value of the DeFi market account 4.7 billion according to the DeFi Plus. Yes, that's that's really nice. That's nice information for us to, to review. And we have two more, two more articles very fast. It's about the China. It says that the Laude city mayor promotes the blockchain to, to five gram. gram. Blockchain is make the future. And the mayor of the Laude, Laude support is used to combat gram. 